Hi, I'm Kate White and welcome to my office. First of all, I want to thank Goodreads for giving me and other authors the opportunity to promote our books online this month because we have books coming out and our book tours have been canceled because of COVID-19. So this is a great opportunity. My book that's coming out is a psychological suspense called Have You Seen Me? And it's about a young woman who's a personal finance journalist who shows up at work one day, has forgotten her key card, forgotten her office key, so sets herself up briefly in the conference room. And when her boss comes in, he says, what are you doing here? And she goes, why, do you need the room? And he goes, no, you haven't worked here in five years. Well, she ends up in the psychiatric ER. Turns out she's in a disassociated state. And though her memory comes back, two days are missing. And so with the help of a therapist and a private detective, she tries to figure out what happened during those two days. And it becomes clear something very bad happened and somebody doesn't want her to know what it is. So now I live in New York City half the week and in Pennsylvania, the other half in this old farmhouse with my husband. And we have this great barn on our property. So I turn part of the barn into my office. And I love working here, except when there are little mice running around in the walls. Uh, one of the things that I often say to aspiring authors is how important it is to make your workspace seductive so you want to go to it. And a couple of things I learned about myself is that I like my workspace really dark and womb-like. So this is a very dark space, but it works for me. My friend Lisa Unger, the fabulous suspense author, her office is beautiful and white. And as much as I love it, I know I couldn't work there. I also need a very flat space, open space. I used to have a, a roll top desk that just didn't work for me, but uh, I, I love this kind of space. And I always have a, a scented candle. I got that idea from Lisa Gardner and I often have uh, my Alexa playing some sort of soft opera or maybe a little meditation music. And then I did indulge and have kind of a brag wall in my office. This is one of the first issues of Cosmopolitan I did when I was the editor-in-chief for 14 years. And this is one of my career books. And this, from a galaxy far, far away, is me on the cover of Glamour once. And this is something I'm proud of here, me giving a luncheon with Hillary Clinton when she was first lady and my son Hunter came along with me. So I have lots of pictures of my, my kids and my husband. And here I have little animals from all the trips I've taken over the years. I bring one back from every place and it just reminds me of how much I love travel. And finally, over here, I have all my books in other languages. It's such a thrill to be published internationally and know that people read you, though of course you have no idea if the books really bear any resemblance to the English language one. And then finally, in my book that I've just written, Have You Seen Me?, the main character mentions at one point that she loved collecting arrowheads or looking for arrowheads when she was little. And I, that's something I love doing too. You know, sometimes I do put a little of myself in the book. And these are some of my arrowheads here. And this one, I just love so much. I got it in Patagonia years ago when I was working on a penguin project there. And whenever I hold it, I feel like I can actually have a sense of the Indian who used this. So anyway, that's my office. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed having a peek at it. My book, as I mentioned before, is called Have You Seen Me? It comes out April. And if you like domestic suspense, if you like whodunits, if you like twisty books with surprise endings, I think you'd enjoy it. Have You Seen Me?